Today's case is unique. You see, while we normally would have a dispute over property damage, domestic abuse, or roommate trouble, this case instead focuses on the definition of a concept. The plaintiff is 23-year-old student Jackie Monk, who claims that the definition of the concept is being bastardized by the defendant. 19-year-old Sarah Valenti. She claims that the definition is not being bastardized, but instead being casuistically stretched to include a multitude of definitions, all equally valid. Both have valid arguments and have decided to settle it once and for all here on the People's Court, a simulation of actual court. All rise for the Honorable Judge Dan Falls.
But, Your Honor, that is not within the definition of performative utterances. No! That is known as performativity and should be included. Think of it like this. We know that the statement, I object, is performing the action of objecting. But what about the implication that lays on the speaker, the I? By saying I object, I am implicating myself and therefore constructing an identity, or at least a feature of my identity. Performativity, huh? Nope. Not the dictionary. That's because it's a very recent concept. But the concept is valid and needs to be casuistically stretched. Well, I'm going to rule in favor of the defendant. What? Why? Because then this presentation would be over. Court adjourned. <laughs> Good performance of utterance, sir. Well, oh, thank you. Next time I'll have the people's court. Simulation of actual court case. An angry landlord. No, sorry. This lord. Sues the fatal for destruction of property. You'll be shocked to find out their strategy to reverse the outcome of this case. Coming up next on the people's court. Simulation of actual court case. Judge. Next time on the people's. Okay, hold on for job of the judge. Oh.